Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Steve Fundero. How are we doing, folks? You realize it's the last Wednesday of 2020, the last Wednesday of a year that has felt like 17 years, and it's feeling pretty chilly this morning. Low 20s in spots. Newport News at 24, 25 out towards Franklin. So maybe a little bit of some patchy frost around. Maybe 28 in Chesapeake. Low 30s elsewhere. Virginia Beach at 33. So the jacket should suffice. I'm awaiting the set of the full moon. See that bright little uh, flare up to the top left of the screen. It's going to be the full moon setting. It was pretty bright and vibrant as it rose yesterday. So looking at a good shot in the next uh, hour or so just before the sunrise, right? We're going to get a bright sunrise. I think this is being a bit ambitious in the amount of cloud coverage there will be later on this afternoon we get the clouds to filter in. So it's a dry day today, mostly sunny for the first half of the day with temperatures getting into the low 50s this afternoon. So really not all that bad. Last dry day over the next four and over the next four days, starting Thursday through Sunday, we have three rounds of rain. This front is really just going to open up the door and then allow the warm, moist air mass to work right on in. So after the clouds thicken up this afternoon, they really do become a widespread tonight, so really mostly cloudy with a stray shower around right after sunset. Likely we stay dry today. I'll show it to you on future track, right? So we got some sun for the first portions of the day. Not all that bad. Notice the breeze coming out of the south and the west. Yesterday we were talking about the breeze ushering in colder air from the north. By the end of the day, it's going to flip out of the south. That pumps in the warmer, moist air. A stray shower or two later tonight. Likely dry, but can't rule out one or two spritz or sprinkles. Maybe just some light showers around Thursday morning for the commute. 6 a.m. still lingering into the uh, early portions of lunchtime. By the afternoon, maybe a break with just some clouds around. And then by Friday morning, we get our best shot at some rain as the warm front lifts through the region. So just some showers around to end 2020 up near 60. Feels it's like, oh man, we're going to get warm. That's all right. But now it comes with mostly cloudy skies and again, some of the showers around. Then our next best shot of rain uh, will be Friday after that in the morning with some bouts of rain and then likely into the afternoon because we have to deal with the cold front with this system as well. We'll get to the 60s, near 70 on Sunday, pending how much sunshine we get. Going to be battling the clouds, but that is associated with another shot at rain later Saturday into Sunday. That's going to be round three, right? So a brief little break in the action after a rainy day Friday for the start of the weekend, the first Saturday of 2021, almost at 70 degrees, right? But then that welcomes in some showers later Saturday into Sunday. They'll be lingering Sunday morning, and then we could get some clearing on the end of the day on Saturday, on Sunday into the weekend. Granted, likely this weekend forecast is going to fluctuate and change, so just stay tuned. But we do definitely have that third round of rain to be dealt with in the Saturday to Sunday time frame. Until then, enjoy the quiet weather we have today as we approach the end of a long, long year.